All right, guys, in this one, I want to take a step away from the builds and actually go over a lot of weapons that pair extremely well with every single build in the game. With every single subclass having its 3.0 updates now, energy weapons are just by far the best primary weapons to take on any of these classes, and it's letting kinetic weapons just fall under, and I desperately think they need an update. Not only do these energy weapons have unique benefits if you pair them right with the subclass, but a lot of them also come with exclusive perks to that specific element that also pairs extremely well with the subclass. In this video, I want to go over the top weapons that have those perks and show you how good they pair with their respective subclass there are six weapons in total i do have two extra weapons that are for free to play players since some of the weapons are unobtainable if you don't buy some of the dlc but all right starting off let's talk about the tarnish metal since arc 3.0 is the new thing in the game that's what everyone's using we need to go over how good this guy rifle is and why it is probably the best arc weapon you could pair with arc 3.0 so first things first the unique arc perk is going to be called volt shot this basically makes it after you reload the gun you're going to be able to shoot a jolt out of your gun and that jolt will stick on an enemy and chain lighten everywhere not only is this just going to do extra damage if you shoot it on a boss but it's also going to be very good for ad clearing and it is arguably one of the best energy intrinsic perks in the game right now on its own this perk even if you're not running an arc subclass is still one of the strongest perks in the game but if you pair with an arc subclass you can take advantage of all your fragments and that's what makes it very very strong so if you are looking for a got roll this is craftable and the best role to go for is for sure volt shot and demolitionist this is just going to give you a grenade back because the volt shot procs will actually proc demolitionist and getting one to two kills will essentially just give you your full grenade back and grenades are very powerful on arc 3.0 if you don't like taking grenades, going with something like rapid hit also would be very good. So, just so you can get that reload speed to proc your vault shot again. But again, I would always go with demolitionist. In these other columns, you can kind of go with whatever you want to, what feels better for the weapon. But I would opt into taking something like reload speed just so you can get that vault shot back in your gun as fast as possible because you're going to want a lot of reload speed. And on things like scout rifles, range doesn't matter too much since they already inherently have a bunch of range. So, you can opt into more things like reload speed, which is very, very nice. But that is for arc. If we jump over to solar now this might surprise you but i think the best solar weapon for solar 3.0 is the bxr 55 battler i know zalu's bane is very very good and has a very fun role but just for overall utility i think this definitely has the best option it is very good for long range it's very good for short range because it does have the intrinsic perk legacy frame so you can hit fire the gun but it also does come obviously with incandescent which is the unique solar 3.0 perk so when you get a kill with this you're actually going to spread a bunch of scorch around in a huge explosion kind of like firefly it's a little bit better especially if you are playing into your scorch builds this can eventually ignite enemies and ignitions are some of the best act clear in the entire game on its own scorch is also just very good for doing a little bit of extra damage but what is really good with things like the battler is that you can pair it with demolitionist just like volt shot if the incandescent actually does kill enemies it will proc demolitionist and you can get your grenade back extremely fast but what's really cool with the battler is that it also does come with pugilist which is the same thing as demolitionist but it actually just gives you melee energy back so if you're playing a melee based build with solo 3.0 this could also be very good as well but demo is probably always going to be your best option but if you're not even playing a grenade or melee base build taking something like outlaw or even perpetual motion to get your reload speed up is always going to be really nice and just overall this gun is just extremely good and i would highly recommend crafting this for soul 3.0 again these other columns you can kind of take with what you want to to make the gun feel better but if you do want a recommendation i would take something like arrow hit break so you can get 100 recoil direction which makes the gun a whole lot easier to use also if you would like to take ricochet rounds just to have a gun just have no recoil direction you know your bullets ricochet you're getting your incandescent procs with demo this is a very fun gun and this is probably the god roll i would opt in and it is craftable so definitely be sure to craft this now i'm actually gonna be jumping into stasis and i know stasis is not free to play but if you do own beyond light and you need a weapon for that the best weapon to pair with this is is luna and this is not a free to play weapon and i will be going over another free to play weapon after i go over this one but the main perk for this is headstone this is a perk that basically when you get a headshot you're going to spawn a stasis crystal which then can be used to pair with all your fragments one of the main ways to use this is to pair this with the fragment where you do increase damage to stasis crystals and your stasis crystals have bigger explosions and you can basically make this into a better firefly and act clear like crazy the reason i assume is so good is because it is a hand cannon and you can easily get one hit precision kills which will proc a bunch of headstones and you also have the perk to pair with outlaw which means when you get a headshot you get a bunch of reload speed so again this is kind of like a mini fate ringer in a way except it's a you know 
ice one, it's stasis. It's very, very fun and it does pair extremely well with stasis builds. If you want to opt in and take something like rapid hit, you could do that as well, or even unrelenting because unrelenting actually will proc off of headstone and this will be a trend coming in with our next free to play weapon. But unrelenting will give you your health back when you get multiple kills. And again, headstone explosions will proc that. Now, the other columns, if armor piercing rounds is available, I pretty much would always recommend taking that for PVE since you do get a 5% damage increase to combatant and shields. But then just take whatever you want to. Again, I always like to go with reload speed just to constantly have my magazine up at all times. Now that is a paid option. If you want to come over to a free to play option, you have the Percy's D. We actually had a recent buff to scout rifles where they do increase the damage to red bar enemies. And this is a high impact scout rifle. So you actually be able to easily one shot a bunch of red bars or two shot and higher in game content. And you can obviously proc things like headstone. What is really cool is that this also does come with the perk stats for all. Just like unrelenting, if your headstone hits a bunch of enemies, you will proc stats for all, which gives you more reload speed. What is also really cool is that this is a hack a weapon so inherently this gun does more damage to stasis crystals and since you're going to be making crystals everywhere that's obviously going to be very good for just blowing them up like crazy now this also does have things to perpetual motion or rapid hit which is very good for reload speed but i honestly would always take stats for all since you are trying to make as many headstone procs as possible and you will always have this proc 100 of the time since this is a higher impact weapon it does lack in the handling department so if you want to go with a handling master work you could or if you just want to go with your load speed but remember stats for all is going to give you 30 handling and 35 reload speed which is very very good and makes up for a lot of it now finally let's get into void void doesn't have the greatest intrinsic perk for void weapons since it is a lot about survivability don't get me wrong repulsor brace is actually very very good and it's going to grant you a 45 hp overshot for eight seconds when you kill an enemy with a void debuff on them obviously if you pair this with volatile rounds it is extremely good for just having an overshot literally all the time but if you do want to go a more damage route like our other intrinsic perks void doesn't really Really have anything like that and with void you already have things like devour so having an overshill isn't the best thing in the first place and taking more of a damage route is probably going to be a better way to go but if you do like the extra bit of survivability to make sure you don't go down repulse brace is a great option now with specifically the unforgiven you do have things like demolitionist on it so you can get your grenade back on your void subclasses which is really really nice but you also do have things like feeding frenzy which is going to be really good for getting your reload speed up but what i personally really like on the unforgiven is demolitionist and golden Tri tricorn this specifically is going to give you a bunch of grenade energy bag which will then reproc golden tricorn for you 24 7 and you always just have a 50 percent damage increase at all times with this weapon it is very easy to get a kill with your grenade with 43 bono since the grenades are very good and you will proc volatile rounds if you run a specific fragment and you're getting a 50 percent damage bonus with other perks always go with armor piercing rounds again because you will get a five percent damage increase to combat in the shields and going with something like reload speed or even range on smg will be very nice but again this does drop from the duality dungeon if you want a free-to-play weapon the funnel web is going to be your world drop or you can go specifically farm them from the vice stinger ingrams from this season but funnel web is still very very good there's actually a lot of pretty decent roles you can get on this i know a lot of people debate about frenzy or adrenaline junkie i honestly really like adrenaline junkie since you're going to be getting your grenade kills anyway if you are playing you know, void 3.0 but frenzy is also very good for getting that damage bonus up but then in the other column you also have things like subsistence and perpetual motion so you can get some reload speed up perpetual and frenzy is very good paired together because you will be getting 50 reload speed from this and 15 reload from this which pretty much maxes the reload speed out and you can just get a bunch of reload speed and it does have the vice stinger origin trait which is also a very very good origin trait personally i would go with assistance adrenaline junkie just you know you're always going to have your damage up plus assistance is going to be very good for constantly reloading your gun pair with vice stinger but as you can see this does not have the void intrinsic trait which is unfortunate so you cannot get repulsor brace on this but if you do want repulsor brace it is on the iron banner smg which isn't terrible but if you are specifically playing a void class i would recommend going with the funnel web over that if you don't have access to the duality dungeon and if you are taking the funnel web with subsistence i would recommend taking an extended mag just so you can get the mag up more since you won't have to really worry about reload speed in general and then obviously go with something like range on smg so you can damage enemies as far as possible but that is going to do it for all my weapon recommendations for the respective 3.0 subclasses i really hope this helped you out if you are a new player definitely be sure to go out and farm those free-to-play weapons or if you have any of the dlcs getting some of this gear will help you out tremendously don't get me wrong you can pretty much run any energy type weapon for the 3.0 subclasses but i definitely think these are the best and it's definitely things you should look out for but that is going to do it all for me if you guys did enjoy this and like 
to see more content just like this consider subscribing drop a like and turn the notifications on it also if you'd like to join my discord or follow me on any of my socials all of that will be linked in the description as well but just know watching this video is way more than enough every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace